リンセスコネクトプリンセスの説明プリンセス・ポーライズ・エリコエリコは part of the Twilight Caravan Guild、a 16 year old demon girl。Her birthday is on 30th of July while her hobby is experimenting, sewing and cooking。Her voice actress is Hashimoto Chinami who also voiced for Misha Flot from Danmachi, Prince of Will from Azur Lane and many others。エリコは自分のバレンタインイベントリミテッドバージョン。But I will mainly talk about her original version in this video. Eriko's union burst is deadly punish that greatly deal physical damage towards a single enemy. Whenever the enemy dies, she will greatly increase s her own physical attack. For her first skill, Obsession, that slightly increases her own physical attack. This skill can be enhanced when she is equipped with her uni equipment. Acts of No Mercy that grants her additional effects of greatly increases her physical attack and critical damage for a short period of time. Her second skill is Poison Blow that deals damage to a single enemy and inflicting poison towards the enemy. Then, for her passive skills, Power of Love Madness that increases her own physical attack and it can be upgraded when she is raised to 5 star, which greatly increases her own physical attack. Eriko's role in the game is a pure attacker. She is one of the princesses that has the highest raw damage output. Her skill sets and union burst are designed mainly for a single target, which makes her effective in fighting bosses. Additional poison effects from her skills are good for extra DPS as well as effective towards monsters that has high defense. When she is equipped with her uni equipment, She lifts up the name of Destroyer as her damage output are insanely high. However, she is known as the Glass Cannon. Despite how powerful she smashes her axe, her defense are as soft as her melons. With that, her raw ratings will be 7.5 out of 10. But with her unique equipment, it will be 9.5 out of 10. Now, let's look at Eriko's table of evaluation on different quests based on how well she can fit in. Eriko's are usable at most of the quests with just a passing mark of B and a big C on Arena. But with her uni equipment, she will be extremely strong in normal quests, Luna Tower, as well as the core attacker to score in clan battle. In my opinion, Eriko is usable only when she is equipped with her uni equipment. Without the Axe of No Mercy, other 3 star princesses are better compared to her. Her abilities are not suitable in Arena, but you can still use her in a very situational case. For Eriko's difficulties on farming her memory fragments, I'll rate it 3 kitchen apron out of 5. This is because of her memory fragments can only be farmed through hot quests 3 times per day. It will take quite some time for you to form her memory fragments, although there is a 5 map to form it. Her position in game are placed 31st in front of Summer Pecorine and behind Summer Tamaki in the front line. For her attack patterns, she starts off her initial patterns with Obsession to Poison Blow, then move on to the start of her loop. Normal attack, Poison Blow, Normal attack. Poison Blow, Normal Attack, and then Obsession, then repeat the same pattern again. Eriko's Bond increases a total of 330 physical attack, while her Uni Equipment Axe of No Mercy increases a total of 719 physical attack, 179 physical critical, and 18 TP gains when it is raised up to level 150. The other princesses that are compatible with Eriko are Nozomi and Jun, who work s perfectly as the tank, Makoto, Mitsuki, and any other princess that can reduce the physical defense of the enemy. To conclude Eriko's rating, 
Is she worth the race in gameplay wise? I would highly recommend to race her which including farming her memories fragments every day the moment you unlock the hard quest. You might not be able to use her in early game but she is a good investment for the mid to late game. Her ability that focus on single target makes her a great boss killer. With her unique equipment and help from other princess to lower the enemy defense, she will reach the power spike zone easily. Eriko is a 2 star princess which also means that getting her from gacha will be easier compared to 3 star princess. I suggest that equip her unique equipment after she is raised to 3 star so that she can be used in the mid game. Raising her to 5 star not only unlocks the hidden ability from her passive skill of greatly increases her physical attack but also increases her survivability. For a 6 star prediction, I would love to see her union burst that inflict debuffs such as defense down, poison or even fear. Other possibilities like self buff in terms of damage will be great as well. Making her union burst to be AoE will be insanely strong in the arena as well. And lastly for waifu wise, nobody can stop you to raise this Yanere wife along your journey in this game. That's it for this week Princess Spotlight. If you enjoyed the video, press the like and subscribe.